Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calm Lands. So, that field up there is done. I've got two choices now. I can either go on and do some ploughing in this field down here, or we load up the timber and... So, if we're going to do the loading of the timber, I want the front weight on the back. We'll do the timber first. Decided. Then we can sell um, sell the timber and we'll see sort of where we are financially to decide, make any further decisions. I do think that we want to be looking at, as soon as possible, buying another piece of land. And if we can, I think that 42 is the best one to get because there's a lot of timber there. We'll be able to cut down quite a few trees and we'll be able to make some um, good money out of it. We could go for number six. That's 97,000. Number six up there is 70,000. This one down here is 66,000. That one would be a better choice than that one down there because of the amount of timber that is in there. But... Well, it's essentially 30,000. There's a 30,000 difference, and the amount of extra timber that is in this one compared to that one is quite substantial. Um, yeah, there's there's still several trees up here, but yeah, I, I just think that would be better all round. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. The thing that's going to be particularly difficult is that we do have to do everything with a chainsaw. If we could use a tree harvester, that would be absolutely wonderful. It would definitely speed things up a bit as compared to a chainsaw, because chainsaw is always going to be slow, but there's not a lot that we can do about that. At least we've got this log grab, and this log grab is pretty reasonable. We can also tow this trailer on the back of the tractor weight right there. No, we can't thought we could we cannot so let's change that one over then and we'll pick that one up the other way around you can still pick it up you just gotta make sure you unhitch it once you've gotten to your destination and that you don't put your forks down too low so right, we can do that there let's have a look just Oh, I wonder what the noise was. I thought I'd maybe done something weird. Right, it's clipping right there. So, yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to put it down any lower than that. You'd be hitting your front weight. And we don't want to be doing that. Um, so, we'll just keep this one up in the air out of the way for a minute. Like that. Got the front weight down the bottom. That's going to help with just balancing things out. We will get this one, and we'll load it up, and we'll take this over. So we got a reasonable amount of money last time from selling the timber. So I'm hoping that we can get another reasonable amount of money from selling timber. We've got three... No, ended up cutting down five trees up here. So I don't know if I'm even going to be able to fit them all into the trailer in one go anyway. We, we may end up having to do a couple of runs. Now, I would really like to buy the next piece of land that's the first thing that i would like to buy but i would also really like to buy a second tractor because if i've got one tractor that's able to work in the fields and do things while i am also doing the forestry work that's definitely going to improve things and it's going to speed things up um yes i can at the moment do some forestry work where i'm you know using the, doing the chainsaw work and cutting some trees down while the other tractor is going in the field but it would be nice to be able to be able to it would be nice to be able to do both that's just something i think it, it would be beneficial if we could do um, both, like if I could just work on forestry work for a bit while the other tractor is busy working in the fields. So we will drop that trailer right there. And then I will select that one and drop that front weight off. There. And then I can get these trees picked up. 
So we'll start off by picking up these two over here. We could do them one at a time. There we go. Get these loaded onto the trailer. At least this log grab is pretty reasonable. Like you go and you you can pick up the logs with this one. Like there was, there's always some log grabs you, you like you, you do have some genuine struggles with and but this one doesn't actually seem to be one like that and i'm i'm quite pleased about that that, that is quite a good thing um let's bring you back this way a bit then yeah dump that in there so they're quite big these logs we will have to keep that in mind let's get that next one there quite long is the, is the problem so where they're sticking out but generally I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue it's actually going to be beneficial overall because what it'll mean is we should end up getting more money for them at least this is what I'm hoping the more money we can get the better let's bring that one there and yeah they are very very heavy we've also got the little tiny slivers of stump left over i forgot that happens the game leaves a little wedge out the back of what you've cut on the stump when you do it with the chainsaw and you get those little slivers left behind and you can't do anything with them but they well, you, you can take them and you can sell them if you really want to. I don't know that it's going to stay on there in any way. It might. But they can cause a little bit of lag if you get enough of them. Because they never disappear. It's not something that kind of like vanishes after a bit of time. So, I, I, I mean, I would guess that you would have to have an awful lot of them for it to cause any problems. It's a bit like um, tree felling. Um, tree felling is always like a, a bit of an issue especially on something like multiplayer if you have too many logs cut down or you have too many bales made it can start to cause issues for people really that trailer is already moving it doesn't seem to dance very much but it does occasionally like the the main part of it does sort of slide around I'm wondering if that might actually just be the bit that I went and dropped on there it could be, unless I just caught it then with the tractor and didn't realise. That could also have happened. Not the necessarily the bestest of drivers. Let's you down there. We need to have a look at tractors and see what we could get. Because I don't think I'm going to be in a position to be getting the 90,000 anytime soon. I mean, it would be very, very nice if I could earn 90 grand. Yeah, see, uh, that putting that little wedge in there has already gone and caused me a problem with this bit. So if I can grab that. See? Yeah. That's already causing issues. This one here is going to be a little bit more difficult to get. Two. There we go. And then go over like that. Now pick it up. Still not holding it wonderfully. No. Okay. Right, we'll we'll just keep hoping that nothing really, really bad happens before we tip it out. And now exactly where I gotta be is exactly where that stump is, which is not gonna help anything anywhere at all, is it? Let's put you down in there. Okay. Well, hopefully the trailer won't move too far. I've got... Yeah, the, the one big log over in there is going to be a bit more tricky to get to, but the rest of them, we're doing all right. As long as we don't go out in the road and have cars hit us, we'll be fine. So I got these two logs right here. I wonder if I can pick two up. That might be a bit adventurous for us. Oh, no. 
We may be able to do this. Is this... No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> alright, alright. Two, two at a time is apparently not something that we should be even contemplating. That's just not gone well at all. Right, yeah, you, 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 you go there like that. That that really didn't end well, did it? Uh, let's. Now we got to try and shunt round and line it up. I wonder if I can do it like this. There. I guess I could possibly pick up that other one because this isn't that big a log anyway. So I should, in theory, be able to pick the other one up without too much trouble. I'm not going to try, though. I'm just going to drop that one in there. I'm going to leave the other one where he is. And then I'll come back and I'll get this one now. Like that. And get that one loaded. There we go. Right. The only thing that you have... That, like, the, the big problem with, like, doing a hardcore series is in order to be able to get money to start with, it doesn't really matter what task I choose. I'm still going to end up doing a lot of repetitive gameplay. And this is something that I'm very much aware gets boring to watch. People don't necessarily want to sit and watch the same repetitive gameplay. So, like... How do you balance repetitive gameplay with doing something with more variety whilst at the same time playing with hard mode difficulty settings and keeping it reasonably realistic? Like, how do you find the balance between all of that? Because it seems to me to be an ever increasingly difficult challenge to get that balance exactly right. Um, I mean, sure, it's possible, but it is, it's is—it's difficult to get that exactly right. Now, with we've got five trees loaded on here. The, we've got some nice long logs on it. This seems to be the key. If we the, the longer the logs that we can have on this, the better. As long as we've got nice long logs like that going on, I've got one more big log over here to go and pick up, and then the others we can do by hand. So we can unhitch the tractor and change things round, unhitch the weight, and then we can put the trailer onto the tractor and hold everything steady before we go and load up the other ones. We could probably have put another tree onto this. Really? I thought I had you picked up. Apparently not. Let's try that again then. Alright. That's better. This trailer is slowly drifting round. The one thing that we've got to make sure of is that we don't have the logs too far forward. That is going to end up causing us problems. Right. We can drop that one in there like that. And now what we want to do is we'll back over here a little bit. And we'll unhitch that weight. If I lower down there like that and take that one off. I'll just leave the grab on the front. I don't need to change that. But what I do want to do is I want to get down in over here like this. It's a little bit of a step coming down there. And I will put the straps on immediately on there. And then I've got to try and get this trailer out from where it's drifted. And yes, the logs are in the wrong place. So we're going to have to be a bit careful dragging those back. Um, I've got them just a fraction too far forward. Could cause problems uh, smashing our back windows and stuff like that. We're going to just pretend that we can't see that bit going on though. Just for simplicity's sake. And then we're going to take this lot here. 
and we're going to load them one at a time onto this trailer which shouldn't take too long to do and this will be the last of them get into the comment section and say how much you think this trailer load is going to be worth I know that several of you were doing that before and some of you were pretty close with your guesses for the values of the last couple trailer loads um, oh, the sawmill thing, where I was unloading by hand um, because, you know, I, I was raging and not happy that we had to unload them ourselves. Uh, I didn't have anybody disagree with my methodology or my reasoning behind it either. A sawmill would unload their own timber. Like, if you go and deliver a load of timber to a sawmill, they would unload it for you. You wouldn't have to go there and then unfold your own crane and uh, you know do the unloading of the load for them that, that that just would not be expected so um me using super strength in order to flip the logs out onto the ground i didn't have anybody suggest that perhaps we shouldn't be doing that not one single person thought that that would be unreasonable for us to go and do so we've got that lot on there and then if i undo the straps and then put them back on again and go like this so long as we stay reasonably straight and we don't turn too sharp that should be fine I'm gonna actually put that down a little bit lower to the ground like that it's gonna go down there like that because I've got like the curved bit over the front this big solid block in front of the tractor rather than a spike I feel it's reasonably safe now, going in around here. Actually, no, that's fine. As long as the ground's not uneven, we're not going to be destroying our tractor. It was only where the ground was uneven that it sort of caught a little bit on the, the cab of the tractor to start with. But now we've gone past that bit. We don't need to worry about it. So I can bring you in around here. Uh, before I unload, one of the things that someone did suggest was that we don't have to buy everything that we should be able to lease something but we can only lease one item at a time and someone else suggested that we could lease something but we can only lease it for one day which would it essentially represents a month or a couple of weeks so you've got that higher charge for say because if we're playing two days a month, that's uh, essentially two weeks worth in uh, for an in-game day. So we can lease it at some point during the day, but we have to return it before nightfall. I thought that's actually a pretty good idea. You've got to return it before nightfall. So like this one here, we could go and lease this. It doesn't tell you the lease cost. It just says you don't have enough money. And I find that really frustrating. I think there is a mod that actually tells you what the lease cost will be. Um... But yeah, like that one there, I'm not sure what the lease cost would be. But I know that it's probably going to set us back thirty or 40000 But then you've got a machine that you can go and use for the day that is going to cut your logs to 8 metres long. And it's going to cut down a lot of trees. So would it be worth doing? Would kind of like be the, the main question is, is, would that be worth it or not? I guess that it would. I I would say that yes, it probably would be worth doing if you could do enough of them. You'd also need to be able to pick up a lot of logs quite quickly. Um, and that's where I'd probably be wanting to use an autoload logging trailer to be able to do that. Because without an autoloader... Um, we're sort of picking up like this for the whole time and I'm not sure that I'd want to be doing that for all of it. Right, we're going to dump everything in here using super strength. Quite glad we have this super strength thing. Oh, I've gone too far. Right, well the, the edges of the logs are in are within the, the cell boundary so as long as we can get most of them in there I think we'll be alright. That, that one there is 900 kilos. It's 994, 907. There's no logs over a ton by the look of it. So these here are a bit lighter. Let's chuck all of that lot in there. 
Okay. We really are super strength. The issue we've got is that there is a log there that's kind of like stopping the others from moving. As long as I get the end of the timber into the box, I think we should be okay. These trees are slightly smaller than the ones that we were moving first of all, I believe, which is why we're not getting as much money for them. Uh, well, uh, why we don't, like, why we were able to get more trees in here and stuff like that. Now, is that all of them in there? I think they're all in the box. So, how much are we going to get? I'm guessing that this is going to be about 8,000. <laughs> Hoo-hoo! 14,191. That's not bad at all. Right, so with our 14 grand... Well, I've just spent ages looking through tractors and um, talking about them, and I've just realized I've spent way too much time, so I'm chopping all of that out. And so, long story short, in order to be able to buy this, we, we either want number six up here so that we can access the trees all the way around the edge of it, or we want 42 and we've got access to all of these trees in here and like the few along the back there as well. One or the other. This is 97,000. This is 70,000. So we got to choose one or the other. Now, um, actually, whilst I would really like to have 42 over here. Also, we would have that bit, which actually I don't think is going to make a lot of difference because 44 will be the piece that we want to buy. Uh, buying up this one and then probably 41 at some point as well so that we've got more area here that we can turn into a bigger round field. That that That's a definite possibility. We want to buy some tractors. Now, I said originally that I don't want to do this, but I'm kind of looking at the different options that we've got this one here is a hundred this will get us a hundred and ten thousand if i sell it now it actually get us more than that if i i can't repaint it unfortunately because that's going to be 17 grand but if i repair it it would get us a bit more then we take that money the 110 plus the 14 here is actually we would end up with 125,000. And we go through this list of tractors over here, and we go to the Fiat right here, the Fiat Agri. This one here, with the, the engine setup stays the same, we want the quick hitch on there, and we want front links on this one as well. So we've got both of those options on there. That's going to be 35,500 right there then we would also want for a second tractor. This is so we can buy two tractors. We can have two tractors running, which would be quite handy. Uh, we go for this one. Now, this one, we don't actually want anything extra. So this is going to cost us... We get 500 there for the main color. 100 if we go for old green. 1,500 for those. Okay. Old red gives 200, that one's 100. We go for old green, cheapest as, po che as cheap as possible. So this is 30 grand. We're looking at 65,000 coming off of our 125,000. That leaves us with 6,000. Okay? Six grand, uh, sorry, 60,000. That leaves us with 60,000. That one up there is only 70,000. Now, yes, we could go here. This is 66. But honestly, the number of trees that are in there is just not worth it. This one here, though, we do have a load more trees in here. And then we can start working away on chopping down those trees and using them whilst we're also, like, the hired help is doing some work down here as well. So we can kind of get the best of both worlds and we'll be able to make some money out of it. And I really do think that this is the most sensible thing to go and do. I really don't want to do this. Because I stated from the start that I really, really wanted to keep this tractor. Because this is a hardcore series. And we've never had in a hardcore series a really nice tractor like this. So, one of the things that I'm going to say with this hardcore series is... I said already that pigs, uh, we would, like, pigs is going to be our target. We need X amount of pigs. 
the other thing that is going to be our target is we need to get a decent tractor back and it's not just going to be one decent tractor we're going to have at least two decent tractors on our farm before we can say this series is complete because right now I can't afford to keep this tractor also we're nearly out of fuel that's that's nothing but you know now's a good time to sell it now that we're almost out of fuel um, so I'll bring you over here it needs repairing the repair on this one alone is two and a half thousand which is quite a bit of money for it and you know new tractors are expensive to run and we're not really in a position to be running expensive things so I can't repaint it repainting does actually add more to the value than the repainting cost so there's 2,500 110 it's now 113 um but that did go up by a bit more um so i can't afford to repaint so we're going to sell that one like that there we go 125,500. i will be working towards getting one of those tractors back as rapidly as possible that is going to be one of my top priorities but right now it can't be because i really need to go and buy this other land now what we can do is we can go so we want the fiat agri here and that configuration i want front links on there i also want a quick hitch on there you got stole as the other one i want quick on there i'm not changing anything else and i'm also not going to add in the gps because that's fifteen thousand. much as i would really love to add the gps onto this to help with plowing up new fields there's going to have to be something that we do later on so there is 35,000. Buy. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to come out of there and... I could right now go and buy that field and then we could wait before we buy our second tractor for doing the work in the fields. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Well, that's very tempting. I would like to plow this up. Like I said, I wanted to mow this, but I'm also thinking that it would be nice to plow this up because then we can leave hired help working on that bit as well. And that's sort of quite important to me to be able to do that. No, no, let's, let's stick with our original plan. So we're going to want to go in here. Go all the way up here. I'm looking for a torpedo tractor. There, torpedo, 30 grand. You know what I haven't done? Let me just check the big tractors in here and see if there's any mods that give us a cheaper tractor. I doubt it very much. These are big, big tractors, so they're going to be silly expensive as well. Okay, there's nothing in there that's even close to being affordable, so it's medium tractors that we're wanting. I'm going to go all the way down to the end, and we want the torpedo. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.